So you should have downloaded the course policy statement and then also have downloaded the schedule. And then um, you should have also had five sheets uh, or five, you know, five files that you can download as well uh, with regard to the geologic time scale. And so this is a video to accompany the geologic time scale introduction to um, study materials so that you can take a quiz on the geologic time scales. Um, so what you'll notice if you look at these is that there is one that's labeled IUGS, that's the International Union of Geological Sciences. And they have a special committee called the International Stratigraphy Committee. And um, what they do is they put together the geologic, uh, it's, it's not really called a time scale in this situation, it's called a chronostratigraphic chart. Now, chronostratigraphy uh, is slightly different from time. And uh, we'll discuss that later on the class here. But uh, that chronostratigraphic chart is what the international community recognizes. Now, it, primarily, it is European and Asian and uh, used pretty much around the entire world except for the United States. And so what we use instead, typically in the United States, is the GSA time scale. And that's shown in the second file or the maybe the first file. I don't know how I loaded them up, but the GSA time scale uh, is one of the files as well. Now, both of these are fairly up to date. Um, the International Commission on Stratigraphy, that's what it is, ICS, that issues the chronostratigraphic chart, has it divided into four columns. And you'll find that there are four columns also in the GSA time scale. Now, the GSA time scale, um, the editors for that, are Doug Walker, he's at the University of Kansas. Uh, he's gonna be the president for GSA uh, this coming year. Uh, well, he should have been this year, I think it was, in the Montreal meeting that we hold a, an annual meeting every year, an annual fall meeting. And it was supposed to be in Montreal, but it is actually gonna be a virtual meeting instead now because of the COVID-19 crisis. Um, so Doug Walker was actually on my committee at uh, KU when I was there. And um, Geisman is another fellow who's on this. He's at the University of Texas, Dallas. Um, so those guys helped assemble that chart. And that chart is basically comparable to the IUGS chart, except there are a few differences in the age dates and you'll find a few differences in some of the names as well. Again, you'll find four columns in the chart. Now, I'm not asking you to memorize everything on these on the GSA timescale. I'm not asking you to memorize, however, the GSA timescale as opposed to the IUGS timescale. And so what you'll find is uh, there's another file that gives you, I think it's called the study timescale. That's the one you need to know. There are 59 names on there, as I recall and uh, 35 names and 24 age dates. And the age dates are right set at the boundaries. Uh, so 59 is kind of the magic number for what you're gonna try to get on a, um, on a quiz that you're gonna take next week in this course. So I don't know when this you know, video gets aired or anything you know, or whatever. But, uh, but anyway, you will be taking at least this uh, time scale quiz at least once, at least once. So uh, 59 points on that. Um, now the four columns, you, you arrange the four columns, they go from left to right. And so actually right to left. So if you go to the far right hand side, this side over here, go to the far right hand side. And then there's three other columns that go to the left. The oldest rocks are at the bottom on the right-hand side. And so if you look at the four columns, you'll see that they have different scales on them. So, they, well, they may have the same scale for each column, but, the, but they're not the same scale on each column. So compared one column to the next column, the next column, and so forth. And you'll find that there's uh, the name Precambrian that is at the top of the far right column. 
Now, what that means, of course, is that it's before the Cambrian. Now, I want you to know that the Cambrian is the oldest recognized time period on Earth. It's one of the oldest that was ever recognized. It was one of the first recognized. And so Precambrian means that those are all the old rocks that are even older than the first time period that was recognized. And so it became known as Precambrian. And nobody really cared about it all that much other than it had a whole bunch of igneous rocks. Um, the Precambrian kind of languished for a long period of time because people became more interested in fossils and what fossils could tell us about the relative ages on Earth. And so Cambrian became very important because those were the first fossils that people began to recognize. And so they described that time period first. And then after that, of course, is the Ordovician. Then you get the Silurian, the Devonian, the Carboniferous is next. And the Carboniferous is divided into two subperiods. That's the Mississippian and the Pennsylvanian. And then after that, the Permian. And that column, the second column from the right, is known as the Paleozoic. And so the Paleozoic, and then the Mesozoic is the next column, and then the Cenozoic is the far left column. And so what you have here is the assembly of time. You stack one column on top of the last column, on top of the last column, and so forth. And at the very top of the left-hand column, that's today, essentially. That's where you live in the Holocene. And um, so that's the way it's organized on each of these charts. And know that it's not to scale. And also know that there are different ranks of time. And those ranks go like this. The longest periods of time, although it's scale independent, it, there's no set number for each one of these time periods, but well, I shouldn't use the word time frames, if you will. But an eon is the longest in duration. An era is the second longest in duration. So it's you can fit eras into eons, in other words. And then the next size is period. And so period, <clears throat> you fit periods into eras. And so if we have something known as the Paleozoic era, the Cambrian period is a part of that. And so the you know, Ordovician period is a part of that. And the Silurian period. Scale independent, okay? It doesn't matter how long a duration they are, but you can fit those within an era. And, and so you have eon, era, period, and then lastly, you have epic. And so epic is the smallest that we're going to deal with in this class. And so for now, anyway. So eon, era, period, and epic. And so um, that's an introduction, a short introduction to how these things are set up. And we'll go from there.